Okay, YouTube. Here is a, uh, a a neat little app called Joomi One. Um, I have this one set up on my iPod Touch 32 gig fourth generation. I'll give you an idea of what it does. Uh, basically, what you do is you download the app to your iPod. Then you download their software that runs in the background. It's really light; doesn't use a lot of resources. And you use that on the computer. You want to be able to to control, or or not only control, but I use this one to be able, basically be able to monitor my webcams or my security cameras while I'm at work. Um, I can check as long as I have my computer on or the computer that you want to connect to. You can view the webcam that's hooked up to it, or in my case, I have an actual uh, converter. Um, and I, I have a, um, a USB to um, AVI con or video con uh, video connection, and I have some wireless security cameras hooked up to these. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is hit Joomi Cam. Once you have the app installed on the the um, the iPod, and then of course on the computer, what it's going to do is open it up, open up the page. And depending on how many webcams you have hooked up, I'm not going to demonstrate it right now because I only have um, the one of them hooked up right now. The other one's disconnected. But you'll see that right now we're viewing a webcam connected to my desktop over here. Okay. On the iPod. It's streaming. It's live. And uh, normally I have this thing set up to uh, monitor my cars in the driveway so I can check up on them. If somebody answer, uh, rings my front doorbell... I can check on that one too. And it's pretty simple if you wanted to change cameras. If you had unlimited cameras hooked up, you just hit camera. And it's going to pull up the adapters, or, or in my case, I have a, a um, USB adapter, which is the, uh, S, uh, the USB 2.0 ATV. And uh, normally when I click that one, it will show the, um, the security cameras. And in this case, I'm just going to click the Lenovo. And that's a webcam I have hooked up to the computer. It's also pretty cool too because you can actually hit talk and when you speak it will actually come through your computer speakers. Uh, I'm not really sure what the point of that would be but um, if you had a, you know, a laptop hooked up to this and your, your lady was on it or what not, you, uh, you could monitor and say hello um, or, or your kids or, or whatever. Um, it's a great app. I believe it's $5 for, for Joomi One um, and um, it's, it also works over 3G. Um, setting it up as far as um, your your ports, um, you have to forward a port inside your router to get it to work. However, there's another feature involved in this that if you have a Google account, you can use it with the Google login, and you would set it up under your desktop. And I'll go ahead and show you the actual program that runs in the background right here, Joomi. That's the Joomi control. And right now it's showing that my... It's showing that the, um, whoops, there we go. This small screen here is showing that the iPod is actually monitoring um, this webcam right now. And we can actually go back over here. We can click Properties. And that's going to bring up the entire Properties menu. And this will allow you to, to set these up and, and list, um, you know, multi-desktop support for cameras and all that stuff. Um, and see right here, Google account, I'm logged in. So you don't have to worry about forwarding ports if you don't know how to do that. It, it allows you to connect from uh, remotely if you're not on the same network without having to worry about port forwarding or anything like that. And so what I'm going to do right now is just exit out of here. We'll just hit the disconnect right here. And you'll see it logged off. And we can just close this. And this runs in the background. So anytime that happens, you won't actually see the pop-up if you don't want to. So, great app. Check it out. Jumi.